Now, tell me more how, uh, you know, if you can, uh, some more details about your dropship source directory, because now that people understand dropship sourcing, I'm certain they're going to want to understand what they can get from your directory. Sure. Well, um, you know, I said a little bit about how we research the directory. I mean, some of the research that we do um, is uh, pretty involved. I mean, we we buy um, raw data lists from Dun and Bradstreet and from Info USA, and uh, you know, I, I told you that we go out to the trade shows, and you know, we're getting well enough known now that we actually have a lot of wholesalers coming to us and asking to be in the directory, so they have to go through a qualification process. You know, I believe we have like 22 questions on the qualification process, and they have to provide us with business license information and so forth. Um, and we do get a lot of people. Uh, you'd be amazed. A lot of people who apply to us who are obviously, you know, resellers. And, uh, you know, one guy just last week wanted us to put his uh, his eBay store on our directory as a wholesale supply company. Oh. And, you know, we knew. I mean, just looking, from the, looking at the products, we knew that it was coming from a multi-level marketing program, you know. Um, <laughs> And I, I, I had some guy a couple of years ago. I didn't believe that he was a wholesaler, and I asked him, "Okay, let me see some verification. Have you got a picture of your, you know, your building front? Have you got some paperwork for your company?" He sent me a, uh, emailed me a picture of this big warehouse with, with trucks and cars in front of it, and people in the loading docks and everything. And his business name was right on the side of the building. But when I blew it up in Paint Shop Pro, you could tell that the name had been superimposed on a stock picture of a building. You know. Uh-huh. Good research. I'm telling you, the, you know, the research is extremely important to us. This is this is um, closer to detective work, Chris. <laughs> it is, you know, and the, our research team loves it because they have so much fun doing this. You know, it's fun to watch them sitting in the office and say, hey, check this guy out. Look, at these you know, people are trying to fool us, you know. And, <laughs> and as long as we do our research right, you know, and we, we, we stick with the ethics and, and, and you know, don't don't take any shortcuts, which we we will never do, uh, things are things are good. Um, now, the directory itself is a live database on the Internet, and you log into it with a username and a password after, after you buy it. And uh, the membership is lifetime. And the, the new wholesale dropshippers are added to it literally every business day of the week. So it's constantly renewing source of products. And we also sometimes remove companies from the directory. Uh, you know, if they change their policies to something that don't fit our criteria or if they become unresponsive to our members for any reason, it's rare, but it does happen. And now inside the directory itself, everything is cross-referenced and searchable by brand name and by product type. And our, the people on our research team actually spend a good deal of time thinking up keywords that people might use in the directory to search for the different products. So, for example, if you're looking for a wholesaler of dinnerware sets, you could enter plate or dinner or cup or fork, and you'd get search results for suppliers of dinnerware. Um, and that cross-referencing is very important to us. Uh, so you could also type in Oneida or... Yes, a brand of flatware, and up would pop all the wholesalers that offer that particular line. Exactly. Oh, that's valuable. Exactly. And once you find the wholesaler that you want to look at, uh, you click on it, and you're taken to the supplier information page for that company, and that page contains uh, the company name, the address, the phone and fax numbers, the website, the email address, the ordering and shipping terms, the shipping regions, dropship fees, shipping methods, uh, and actually the name of the correct person to talk to if you want to call and open an account with them, and which is you really won't find anywhere else. We're very, we're very careful to make sure all that information is updated all the time. Now, below that info, you'll see a few sample images of the products that they supply, and under that is a list of all the brand names they carry, and under that is a list of the product types they carry. Wow. And now finally at the bottom of the listing, um, you'll see instructions on how to set up an account with them, and we do have a system in our directory that most suppliers use. We can, you know, turn it off or turn it on for different suppliers, whether they want to use it or not. But it's a system where you can enter your business information right there in the directory's supplier page and click Submit, and the directory sends your, your retail account request right to the supplier for you. So that's, wow. a, that's a very popular feature also that people really love. Um, so, you know, you can see we've spent a great deal of time and money developing this directory, and it is the most highly rated one out there. And uh, well, just, not we're, to mention, I envisioned, Chris, you, you've blown me away. I, I envisioned if you were going to send me some kind of a printed directory, and it'd be well worth that. You know but, what? It, you know, I, I know, Alan, most people think that. Um, it's, it's, a, you know, it's a very common assumption because that's what is out there. Right. You know, that's what everyone does. But the problem with a printed list is that it's outdated the minute it's printed. Exactly. You know, and most of the stuff on those printed lists is actually just recycled information from somebody else's printed list. You know? Sure. 
I go out and buy five lists, combine them, and I've got a bigger list. I, you know, we buy them all the time. We do. We, whenever we see a new wholesale product list or product, you know, dropship list or wholesalers or whatever, we buy them and we go through them and look at them. Not for not because we want to take their information because we don't. We know we're going to get mostly junk, but we want to see, you know, what everyone else is doing out there. It's just part of our, our you know, analyzing our competition. And we've never ever found anybody that has 100% uh, genuine wholesalers, and and usually they're 80, 60, 60 to 80 percent middlemen. Um, which is just terrible, you know. Not what you're buying. Well, people try to start a business based on this, and it hurts them, you know. They spin their wheels for days, hours, weeks, thinking they've got good suppliers. Yeah. You know, and then and then they find out they wasted that time, effort, and money, and people sometimes just drop out of business altogether because of that. Or even worse, I've heard, heard horror stories of people on eBay that would, uh, trusting a, a new supplier, will go ahead and place the item thinking they'll drop ship send them the money in the order and find out the guy doesn't even ship afterwards. Oh, you know, I was just talking to someone who had done that with a with a supplier that he lost $5,000. Mm, it hurts. Yeah. Yes. yes. Um, especially when someone's starting out, that may be all you've got. That's your inventory money. That's, that's Exactly. Uh, you know, it's, it's the nest egg. I mean, you know, and, and it's your savings.